What's up, Tiger Nation? Steve Leslie again, YSNlive.com, the home of the Springfield Tigers all season long as they head to week 13 at, at Marlington against Columbia Station. We'll talk to Marshall about that, but player profile sponsored by WRS Wealth Advisors. Cannot thank them enough for all they do for all of us at YSN, but right now, proud to be joined by senior Marshall Yelk. And Marshall, thanks for joining us. Uh, it's a pleasure to be on here with you. Uh, you got that smile on your face. Week 13, you've played a lot of football with, with a fun group. We'll get into some of that, but let's talk for Springfield a little, Marshall Yelk, and talk about your family a little bit and what they mean to you. Uh, I would say my family is like my, uh, of course, my number one fans. Uh, you know, yeah, my mom, Daisy, and my uh, stepfather, Henry, Hank, which everyone calls him. Uh, yeah, my little brothers and sisters, uh, Mariana and Michael, you know, they just they just mean so much to me. And, and it's really like my own, like my main motivation throughout the, like every practice and game. Well, I'm going to shout them out. So salute to your family for all that they do. Let, let's go from there. Let's Saturday night. You guys get a, an opportunity you get to play two home games. Uh, you play your final home game with the, with a bunch of seniors that have spent a lot of time on that practice field. All your families are there. You get to advance and move on, so that's the good thing with the win. But has to be a little bittersweet. Talk about what that meant. Um, it was it was just a really magical thing because uh, what was it? Our our last home game last year uh, against Norway. And it was just such like an emotional roller coaster. Like we were all like sometimes we were in doubt. Sometimes we were oh we're gonna win and. It, it, it was just such a crazy game. And to go from this year to my last ever game on that field to kick their teeth in, it just it felt good. It was a bittersweet end. No question. But those are the fun ones, Marshall, the bittersweet ones, when you could take control of a game against a great opponent, like you said, and move on to Columbia Station. I just talked with Nick. I, I talked to a lot of the players already. This senior group, you guys have something special. You played a lot of football, but it's more than football. It's friendships. It's brotherhood. How, how special and, and close is this senior group? Talk about that a little bit. So this, my class, we just always been so tight when it comes to sports. Like ever since the days back in middle school, like when I came here, I came back here back in fifth grade, we've just been so dominant in mostly every sport that we played all together and like some like as high school went on we branched out to different sports as our main sports but sure. when we were all together we knew that we had something special going on we knew that we were it like it no question it special tight brotherhood all those words okay i'm gonna take you back state championship game last year was there probably one of the best football games I've ever watched. I, I was emotionally spent after that because if anybody deserved to win that football game, it was the Springfield Tigers. I want to take you back there a second. You're on that bus coming home. You lose a great group of seniors. Did that hit you right there that I'm going to be a senior with, with my group of seniors? And is that when you started preparing for where you're at now? Oh, yeah. Uh, as soon as I saw that clock hit zero, it was just it was earth shattering. And to lose such a really good group of senior leaders, it was it really hit hard. But on that bus ride back, um, it actually wasn't that sad. We were actually singing, dancing, sure. just living in the moment. We we were just such a clo close group of people, uh, friends. It was it 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 was something sad, but we made the best of it. But. It, it was a wake up call. Like this, this is it. Yeah. We, we didn't want to go out with anything less than what we had la la last year, last season. We wanted to have more. No doubt. And I love that you say that. And the reason why I, I said this, I can't remember to which player I've said it to, but I, I don't think you guys really understand what you have done <laughs> in your careers at Springfield, honestly. And, and that's, and that's a good thing. That's not a bad thing. You're going to yeah. continue to play and win football games, but it's going to be that day when you guys get a little older and you're in college and, and you're doing things that you'll go back and really go, wow, we, we were something special. But uh, hats off to you guys as a senior group and, and how you represent Springfield on and off the field uh, is phenomenal. 
off of that, your fans, uh, home games are electric. Away games are electric. It has to be exciting to go to Marlington, play on some turf because you know your fans are going to be there. The community is going to be behind you. I asked Nick, when you're playing, do you notice that crowd behind you at any point? Oh, yeah. Um, I would like like a key game that I remember that it was a little bit more closer to home. When we played Mogador my sophomore year at South Range, I remember that starting kickoff. I remember we were facing towards like the uh, the home stands or I was on that kickoff and just seeing that crowd that was there to support us. It, it will always have a place in my heart. It was such it, just just the picture of it. It was just amazing. And it's just every game just seeing like all of like the familiar faces that I know and even people that I've never seen before in my life. It just it just means a lot like those fans like our fans are the best. I love the passion in your voice. I do. How special is that shirt that you're wearing, Tiger Nation? What does that mean to you? Just means like us versus all. Like we're all in it. Every yeah. everyone, even some towns like Springfield, just against all. You know how to say that, right? That's a great answer. I love the mentality. All right, you play defensive end. You play tight end. What do you like better, hitting somebody or playing on the offensive end? I like defense more. Okay. Uh, I've been playing on defensive end. I've been playing defensive end since uh, fifth grade. It was the first position I was given when I came here. And um, my fresh, I, I played it all the way up until eighth grade. And then my freshman year, they moved me to linebacker when I got into high school. Then sophomore year, they moved me back. And then my junior year was my first year starting at it. And it's just... I, I just I, I just love playing defense. Well, keep playing keep playing the way you do on defense. Let's talk about that defense. You, Creston Norway scores first, and then you guys kind of shut them down after that. This defense continues to get better every week. I say, how good can this defensive be the rest of the way? Can they, can you get better? Um, I believe that we haven't hit our uh, our peak yet. I I think we're still climbing, and I'm hoping that we hit our peak at uh, the state game. And I just, you know, you know what they all say, defense wins championships. And I think this de defense can win a championship. No question. Defense wins championships. Tigers and this defense is playing good with Marshall Yelkin, player profile. Uh, WRS Wealth Advisors are the sponsors. Cannot thank them enough. All right, you ready? We're going to play rapid fire. No wrong answers. I, this Springfield oh, yeah. group kind of gives the same answers because you're so close. So it's fun. This might, mine, mine might be a little bit more different. Okay, I like that. I like different. All right, Sean Guerrero, when I say his name, what's the first word that pops into your mind? Just a big goofball. Okay, see, I, I can respect you because he's a family member, so there is some goofiness in our family. But honestly, you guys are so close with him. I know what he means. I know what you guys mean as a football team to you. Your staff is so good, so many good coaches. What oh, does this football staff mean to you seniors? just to have such a strong group of coaches who we've all bonded to. It's not like we feel more bonded to one. Like we feel bonded to all of them. Like they're, they're all so good. No matter the position, they're always coaching you. No matter what position you play, they're, they're top of their game. Every practice, every game. Well, shout out to all the coaches, coach Greer on the staff. Best of luck to you all Saturday. Favorite color Gatorade. Favorite colored Gatorade. I would Are you a to... water drinker? Which one do you prefer on game day? Uh, I actually drink a lot of Pedialytes. Okay. I started that little trend where I just, I chugged like one or two Pedialytes. But my favorite colored Gatorade would have to be Green Apple. All right. Well, green Pedialyte, apple like, good. Keep, make sure you keep the Pedialyte trend going now on Saturday. Oh, yeah, it's good. Stick with that <laughs> Some one. good stuff. All right. Favorite college football team? Notre Dame. Go Irish. All right. I like Notre Dame. Playing good. It's a good football team, no question. A yeah. tough one to Cincinnati, but Cincinnati's right there. Notre Dame's still in the hunt. Need a few things to happen, but that's a good answer. Favorite, favorite pro football team? My favorite pro football team would have to be the Denver Broncos. Okay. Denver Broncos, John Elway. Denver, a big win over Dallas last week. Oh, yeah. Kind of, okay. They might be getting hot like the Shout Tigers have been hot. He was, he was a little um, upset about that one. Yeah. Saturday night, you, you go over to the game. You have your headphones on. 
What's Marshall Yelkin listening to to get yourself hyped up for a game? Nick went a little country on the way there, and then Drake when he gets to the stadium. Uh, this might be a little embarrassing, but I listen to some WWE theme songs, like some okay. of the uh, wrestlers' theme songs. Those Pretty are good, good ones. As long as it gets you amped up and playing the way you're playing, that's what you stick with, my man. No problem with that. Um, role models. We talk about them all the time. Things aren't always the best for everyone. When Marshall's down a little bit and needs a pickup, who's the, who's your role models in your life? Uh, my role models obviously would be my parents. I would give that to them. But I'd say one of my biggest role models is my uncle, uh, Sadat. He's just been my mentor since I was little. It's literally, I just, I look up to him 24 seven. Like that's who I want to be when I'm older. Well, that's a great shout out. So shout out to your uncle and your parents for all they do to support you. Senior year, we talk about it all the time. Teams talk about winning state championships. Teams say it. I'm a big believer that this Springfield team believes it, uh, wants it, works every day for it, and goes day by day, week by week. Marshall Yelkin's dream ending to his high school senior season. You know, just... Hoisting that trophy, man. Hoisting it. And, and if anybody. I, I would have to say being on that bus and listening to We Are the Champions. I think that would be just a brilliant ending to everything. I think it would be a great ending, too. So on behalf of all of us at YSN, DJ Oakley, Brian Scott, myself, again, Marshall, thanks for joining us. You represent Springfield on and off the field. Springfield community will be there Saturday night against a big game and, and a great environment. And uh, we wish you guys nothing but the best of luck and get that big win in week 13 and keep those dreams alive. Will do. All righty, Marshall. Have a good night. You too, sir.